we're going to show you how to install the sit on top mount for angle or we also have a mount for sit in kayaks called the hinge mount but this one is specifically for sit on top kayaks and the first thing you'll need to decide and discover is whether or not you have sufficient space to attach the sit on top mount on your sit on top and so in our case we've got this nice round flat area but if you have a hatch cover or a cup holder in the way um, you're not going to be able to use our mount unfortunately so you do need to have a flat area our mount size is six and a half inches by four inches wide and the other piece of information is its proximity to the seat because you're going to want to mount the paddle at approximately arm's distance. So you may have a flat area, but if it's too far forward or it's too close to the seat, that's another factor to take into consideration. So I mentioned that you need your flat area to be in about the right position relative to your body. However, I did want to show you that our track can be secured in the five holes uh, so that it's flush on each side with these small screws that come along with it or you can choose to move it up one or two holes to put it further from your body or move it closer to your body. So you do have some flexibility there. The second most important thing to figure out for installing this is whether or not you have inside access to your kayak. If you have a, a day hatch or some other way to get inside the kayak, we are going to recommend that you use a backing plate and rigging bullets from Yak Attack, and there's more information about that on our website. If you do not have access to the inside of your sit on top, uh, we call it a blind install, and we have a way to do that as well, and that's what we're going to be featuring today. When you get your order, you'll get the whole angle or system, and included will be this stainless steel mount setup. And first thing you're going to want to do is actually peel back the, the film that's on top. It's hard to see in this camera here but the, this is actually just a film that pulls off and when you pull it off you'll see a brushed stainless steel. There's five threaded holes in the middle. Those will secure to the track itself that holds the angle or system and then there's eight holes that you'll use to secure screws right into the kayak itself. One option is to use a well nut. Now you'll need to drill holes for all of these options but with the well nut You'll drill a hole the diameter of the size of the nut itself and what this is is a rubberized nut with threads inside. When you've drilled your hole you'll put that down inside the hole and you'll see this flat black area on top. Then the mount goes on top of that and then the screw goes in and as you tighten the screw with a screwdriver you, the rubberized part underneath the kayak will pull up to form a nice seal and give you a secure finish. And I do recommend using a screwdriver, not a drill, because you don't want to over tighten it. The next option is using a rivet and a rivet gun. And we didn't have our own rivet gun here, so I went out and bought one at the local hardware store. And I'm trying this 3 16th inch rivet. I'm also going to try a three pronged rivet as soon as I can get my hands on one. And it's a similar idea to the compression nut. This will go down to the hole that you've drilled through the mount and the rivet gun will pull on that such that the bottom part of this rivet comes up and presses against the underside of the deck again creating a good seal and like all of these installations you can use a sealant with all of these. The mount has eight different holes where you can secure it to the kayak. Four is probably sufficient and for today we're going to use the four outside holes. I've already marked them with a felt tip pen and this is one of our test kayaks so it's really a mess under there. I've tested a lot of other mounts. It has a lot of holes on there but you can see where I've marked these four holes. The first hole I'm going to drill is for the well nut and I have a 5 16 inch drill bit. It's a pretty good size one. You can see I just pre-drilled that and I'm going to put my well nut down in there. Just put, gets right in there, it fits nicely. The third hole I'm going to drill is for the rivet, and this is a 3 16 inch rivet, so that's what size drill bit I have. Oh, I'll have to get a real, rid of it, a little bit of that extra around the edge there, clean that up a bit and then we'll see if this fits in there. And actually, we need to put this through the mount first, so I'm not going to stick it in there quite yet. 
So we have a couple different things going on here. We've got the well nut and I just started to finger tighten the screw. And then we've got the rivet that I placed in there and we'll tighten with the rivet gun. So why don't we start with the easy one, which is the screw. <laughs> and I'm not going to tighten that all the way because I'm doing these all at the same time, but we'll just start it to get it going. Okay, now I'm going to work on the rivet. I've already given it a couple of cranks and it's feeling very tight and secure. And as I understand, I just need to crank it one or two more times until the end cracks off. And I'm having a little... There we go. Great. And so that's nice clean edge there. Okay, now that I've got that rivet in, I'm just going to tighten this opposite corner. And obviously everyone has seen a screw get tightened in, and I just want to see if I can sense... Yes, I can feel... I can feel that something's happening beneath the kayak to tighten it. The mount is securely attached now and I used two methods to secure it. I used well nuts in these two holes and I used rivets on the other side. And I would say they each have their advantages. The rivets have a smaller hole pattern. I used a 3 inch drill bit and stainless steel rivets. Uh, and those worked remarkably well. It's very secure. And with the well nuts, I use 1032 screws, and the well nuts, though, have a bigger diameter hole pattern, but obviously they're easier to install because all you're doing is turning the screw. So it's a personal choice. They both work well. Next, what we're going to be doing is attaching the track, and as a, it has five holes in there, and as I mentioned earlier, you can move it backward or forward. You don't necessarily have to use all five screw holes if you don't want to. So I'm going to attach that and then I'll show you how the vertical post works with the track. I have screwed in the track now and I just used three screws there. And what I'm going to do now is slide on the vertical post and it slides on very easily. You can move it to the right location depending on your arm's length uh, to the paddle and then simply tighten the screws to keep it in place. What's nice about our track system is when you're not using the angle oar, you can take the vertical post off or you can leave it there and you can attach some of your other mounting equipment such as a camera or a rod holder because our track uh, is universally compatible with Yak Attack gear tracks as well as Scotty tracks. With the track and post in place, you're ready to get out on the water. So you'll simply slide our clevis onto the post there. It's got a V shape here. You put the angle or in, it snaps in place like that. And I have it in the angled position. I do not have the paddles on as you can see because I wanted to show you that there is a push pin here that can lock into one of three holes in each shaft. So you can lengthen each shaft depending on the size of your kayak. If you have a wide angling sit on top kayak, you can use a longer position. Um, if it's narrow, you can use a shorter position. If it's windy, you might want to lengthen one shaft and shorten the other. So experiment a little bit when you use this, but you can see it's a nice, easy rotational movement.